News at 5. Good evening. Welcome to your 5 News at 5. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. It's the first day back in the building at Prairie Grove School since the superintendent and middle school principal both took a leave of absence. Comes after a fake school shooting memorial video was shown, causing uproar by teachers, students, and parents. Yeah, this was the scene as teachers arrived to school this morning. Parents showing their support for teachers. 5 News reporter Jose Carranza was there and shows us how the community now is calling for action. This was one of the first steps was just being here saying we love you. We're here for you. Just please come back and continue to do all the wonderful things you've been doing for our kids. On Monday, parents stood outside of Prairie Grove Middle School with signs. We love our teachers and we have a lot of wonderful teachers that just love and care for our children. So we were just wanting to show our support for them and how much we stand behind them. It comes after a school shooting training video was shown to staff. In it, a memoriam. We are told from staff it had photos of actual teachers, student and staff as if they had passed in mass shooting. And the day of their death listed in the video, December 14th, the anniversary of the Sandy Hook school shooting. I literally cried um, because we have such amazing teachers and I can't imagine being a mom of six, having my children shown on that board and showing their deaths. Um, sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. As a parent, that's your worst nightmare. Um, a school shooting is your worst nightmare. And for them to have to be shown that as their own children, I just can't imagine. I would have been one of those parents screaming and yelling and um, demanding it to be shut off and I would want heads to roll. It left parents, teachers and staff not only upset, but also some teachers dealing with trauma after seeing the video. I have years of um, childhood education, um, being in daycare for many years, and um, you just don't teach people that way by um, hurting them. Um, there are so many better ways to teach and train people than to um, do things that hurt them. Many say the teachers aren't receiving the support they need and even the equipment they need to follow safety protocols. If they don't have everything they need, let's get that. You know, who cares about a playground if our children aren't safe? Um, we need to make sure that we have those things. And as the community reels back from this incident, they plan on making their voice heard at the next school board meeting. Everybody has lots of questions on who was involved. Even skipping school on the 14th to hold the district accountable. I just think now is the time to speak up. Now is the time to stand up for your community. In Prairie Grove, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Now we've reached out to the district for a public comment but haven't heard back. As we reported Friday, Superintendent Reba Holmes and middle school principal, Sh principal Shane Taylor announced they're both taking leaves of absence for the rest of the year. Holmes also gave notice to school board that she will retire on June 30th of next year. Assistant Superintendent Pete Jenks will serve as interim superintendent.